I'm going to start a new series, and I'm going to call it... Will it ham? What's the point of this? I want to take some of the most absurd items that I can find and turn them into ham radio antennas. For episode one of Will It Ham, we are going to use a can of ham. Yeah, you heard that right. I'm going to turn a can of ham into a ham radio antenna. Why might you ask? Because nobody else is? Let's get into the build. What we need to do is remove the ham from the can. Now, you don't want to waste the ham, so... Oh yeah. Mm. We gotta build up the energy for the build. Of course, we have to clean the can out. You don't want your antenna to smell like ham. I've created a 3D model of some spacers just to keep the two halves of the can spaced apart. And we're going to model up the PVC pipe that we will attach to this. And we are going to sand down the attachment point for where the PVC is going to be glued on. Of course, we have to hit the 3D printer and make the 3D parts. Let's attach the 3D print pieces to this can and join the top half to it. Next, you'll notice that I've sanded out a section that we can put a jumper on there to effectively turn this into a slot antenna. Next is to find the perfect feed point. In this case, it's a by guess by golly, and I've taken my handy dandy tattoo ruler and figured out that between three and four inches seems to be about the right spot. And I taped down the connectors for the B and C. A can of ham, strangely enough, after measuring it, is about 350 millimeters around the circumference of the outside. If we're going to do a slot antenna, do you know what 350 times 2 is? 770 centimeters. I'm willing to bet that this is going to resonate fairly well with just a little jumper and I turn it into a slot antenna. I know this is not the best test in the world. There's metal everywhere, but like we're going to stand that. But, so we've taped it off here right in the middle. So we've got like three and a half inches. Got to shunt it off there. Let's bring in the nano VNA, shall we? On two meters, it kind of sucks. It's just below two. It might just work. However, let's go to the 70 centimeter band. <laughs> okay. Check that out. Like seriously, it is almost bang on in the 70 centimeter Right dead in the middle. Now that we've done the initial testing, let's add some hot glue and stick it to a chunk of PVC pipe. Let's remember that slot antennas, even though they're sitting horizontally, are vertically polarized. So this is the best orientation for this antenna. What we have here is the ham antenna, the ham can, ham antenna, the ham, the ham antenna. Will it ham? If we go... So we can pick up weather. That tells us that it's receiving something. Seeing if I can raise anybody on 70 centimeters at a repeater that is in that building right there. So let's just see if we can hit the repeater. <laughs> Victor Echo 6, Zero Foxtrot, X-ray, radio chat tank. Yeah. You can hear me on my other radio. It's just a matter of raising somebody. As soon as I hear somebody else, that'll be a good thing. While testing this, I couldn't raise anybody on the repeater. I got a hold of my friend Greg, Victor Alpha 6, Golf Alpha Charlie, and he was free to come and get onto the repeater. Of course, I didn't hit record fast enough, but he did a radio check, and here is what happened immediately afterwards. Victor Echo 6, Gulf Alpha Charlie, radio check is confirmed. Can you hear me? Radio check. 
I can hear you. I just don't know who I'm talking to. It is Victor Echo 6, Sierra Foxtrot X-Ray. Um, thank you so much for getting back to me, Greg, because I'm talking to you via a can of ham. <laughs> but uh, is, is the can of ham loaded or unloaded? Over. And let me clarify that so that you can actually understand. Have the you rookie. taken the ham out of the can or is there ham? Still in the can. The ham was used to make sandwiches to uh, fuel the build of the ham can ham antenna. So, no, it is not loaded. <laughs> it is fully empty. But um, can I get a signal report from you? Now that I got the full bars off of the repeater, you are perfectly quieting into the repeater. Over. <laughs> You know, you just created a new episode for me. <laughs> and uh, yes, absolutely, we are going to have to try that. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a can of ham. This is absurd. Now you, my audience, I want you to let me know down below in the comments what you want me to test or what you want me to turn into an antenna. Do you want me to take a tinfoil hat and turn that into an antenna? Can hurt to try any of this, but I need to know what you want to see. Now Greg has asked me to test to see if the ham can ham antenna can resonate with a ham inside of it so that we have the ham ham cam ham tan. <sighs> yeah, will it ham? Stay tuned to see if this antenna will resonate with a ham in it and leave me comments below. And this concludes this episode of Will It Ham? This is Victor Echo 6, a Sierra Fox Trot X-Ray, and I am clearing this channel.